Hey students, this is Mr. Vickery and today we're going to be graphing the density of an unknown liquid using Excel. You can find a link to the lab in the description below. If you followed the lab, you've collected data points for the mass and volume of an unknown liquid. In order to calculate density, we need the mass over the volume. Mass in this case is our y-axis, volume is our x-axis. I've entered my data points for volume and mass right here. Remember, volume will be our x-axis, mass will be our y-axis. Be sure that you did not include the graduated cylinder mass in your mass column. To create a graph, I'm going to select all of this data, click Insert, and over here under Charts, select Scatter Plot with smooth lines. I'm going to go ahead and format this graph by clicking Add. I want axis titles and I also want a trend line. If I click the arrow and go to More Options, I want to display equation on the chart. I can go ahead and close this formatting box. If you remember, my y-axis is mass in grams, and my x-axis is volume in milliliters. I'm going to rename my entire graph to density of an unknown liquid. This protocol will work for any unknown liquid. You may be wondering what this equation actually represents. Well, this is the equation for the slope of this line. It turns out the slope of this line is the rise over the run, which in this case is the mass over the volume. So the slope number right here is equal to the density of that liquid. So in this case, 1.1204 is our density. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. This is the graph that you will be turning in. I can move that right under here. The last thing I'd like you to do is type your lab partner's names in the boxes here so that when you turn this in, you can receive the proper credit. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day, guys.